Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, first of all, as you can see from the title, I wanted to come and express my thoughts and my views on Comcast Cable. Um, yesterday, I had the worst experience of my life dealing with Comcast. Now, remember I told you guys that I've been living on my own since I was 17 years old. I moved out of my parents' house when I went to college, and I have been living on my own ever since. And I've had Comcast since I was 17 years old and I'm 29 right now. Ever since I've been dealing with this company, it has been nothing but headaches. Now, I know what a lot of you are going to say. If Comcast is that horrible, why do you still have their services? For one, I've lived in apartments most of my life and most of the apartments until this particular situation right here in the apartment that I live in now, I can get a dish network or uh direct tv or whatever but in the previous apartments that i've had i had to have comcast cable it really was no option which is one of the reasons why i think comcast treats their customers the way that they do because they feel like you have no other option okay they feel like you have no other option they feel like you have nowhere else to go because nine times out of ten a lot of this other shit that's out here as far as netflix hulu and all this stuff they actually charge netflix a fee to stream with comcast or something like that and i think they own hulu or, or something like that but anyway they're in dibs with that as well so they really don't give a damn about you saying that you're gonna leave comcast and you just gonna watch netflix and you just gonna watch hulu or whatever they can care less about that shit but let me tell you about the situations that went on first of all i'm gonna give you a little bit of a backstory or a previous incident that I've had with Comcast and the situation that happened to me on yesterday, which is making me consider leaving Comcast. The only reason I'm not considering leaving them is because I do know that when it rains and things like that, people have issues with the dish. That's one of the only reasons that I'm staying with them. But I just want to, like I said, I want to use my First Amendment right, and I want to come on here and I want to voice my opinion on Comcast. First of all, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory. I'm not even going to go back to when I was 17 when I first got Comcast. I'm going to tell you about something that happened this year, okay? I moved into this apartment in November of last year. Okay, I moved into this apartment in November, November of last year. I had my cable, of course, transferred and everything like that. First of all, when I had my cable transferred, these motherfuckers put a $76 uh, 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 collection thing on my credit saying that I didn't pay a previous bill, which is bull crap. I called Comcast several times, several times, and I asked them, what is this past due balance that you guys are saying that I have? They're looking in their system and they're telling me, well, we don't see where you have a past due balance. We see where you're up to date. Well, I'm like, what is this Comcast past due balance that is on my credit report from you guys. Talk to people in collection. Well, first of all, I tried to get transferred to collections. Every time they try to transfer me, the call my mysteriously gets disconnected. Every single time that they try to transfer me to collections or whoever, so I can try to figure out why is this on my credit report, this $76. Number one, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that, but I try to keep my credit at bay because I do one day want to buy me a house and I don't want no $76 uh, bullcrap on my credit preventing me from buying a house. But at the same time, I'm not going to pay you $76 for something and you can't tell me what it's for. Everybody that I talk to from Comcast, they don't know what the hell the $76 is for, yet it's still, it's still sitting on my credit report. Makes no sense. Okay, let's fast for, flash forward to November of this year when I moved into this apartment, when I got my services transferred. Got my services transferred, spoke to the lady on the phone and everything about the date I wanted, wanted it disconnected from my previous apartment and the day that I wanted it connected here at this apartment that I'm in now. Everything went fine. At this particular time, they had a promotion going on where you could get the, it was a little bit cheaper if you bundled with the house phone, I kept explaining to the lady, I said, well, I don't want the house phone because I use my cell phone. I don't use the house phone, period. I don't, like I said, I don't, I'm home all the time, but I didn't have a need for a house phone. So I was like, I'm not going to pay you for a house phone when I don't need one. She was like, well, it's free for one year, 100% free for a year. I was like, are you sure? I asked her this 50 times. No lie. I, asked, I told, matter of fact, I told a lady, I said, I'm not trying to be funny. I said, but I'm, I'm, I'm keep asking you this because I need to know that it's 100% free. 
because I do not need a house phone. But if it's going to lower my bill by me bundling with the house phone, of course I'll get it. If it's free for a full year. She kept telling me yes. So they actually had to send out a, not a repairman, uh, the technician to hook up the house phone because it was some kind of a uh, box and some kind of uh setup thing that he had to do and um i asked her i said well is it free for him to come out here because if i gotta pay for a technician to come out here to set up a house phone that i don't need i don't want it she was like no it's gonna be free we're gonna waive that fee she said normally they um they charge you for it she said but i'm gonna go ahead and waive that fee since i'm offering it to you i said are you sure yet again because like i said with these people you have to ask them a million and one times exactly what they're saying because they will sit there and throw some shit on your fucking bill that you didn't ask for hence december of 2013 the next month when i got that bill tell me why these motherfuckers had charged me for a phone line and they charged me for the technician coming out to my home remember i just told you that she told me it was 100 percent for re for one year i will not be charged she also said that the technician fee will be waived since I kept reiterating to her or whatever the hell the word is. I kept reiterating to her that I did not want that service unless it was 100% free. I said that to her five or six times. I'm not exaggerating. So, of course, I'm upset about the situation because I sat there and beat it in your damn head that I didn't need this shit. But you kept telling me that it was 100% free. So I'm like, okay, why not? So I have to call these people, talk to somebody on the phone, and they're like, well, yeah, it is a fee for the technician to come out to your home. And, you know, they do charge you such and such for it because it's like a, it's a certain kind of box thing that you have to have for the phone thing uh, to be set up. Some type of, you know, like the modem thing or whatever it is for the phone system to be set up. So... They're sitting there telling me, yeah, it's a fee and all this stuff. So I told them, I said, you know, I said, you know, try trying to be as nice as possible. Because like I said, some of those people at Comcast, I'm not talking about all of them. Because I've dealt with some great people. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you about an experience later on in this video. I talked to this lady. I tried to, tried to talk to her as nice as I possibly could. I tried to speak slowly and clearly to let her know what the customer service representative that I had spoke to that told me it was 100% free told me until I talked to this lady for all, every bit of 20 30 minutes until I eventually said can you put me on the phone with the manager because you're not helping me right now put me on the phone with a manager he's gonna tell me the same exact thing yeah it is a fee for the technician having to come out to your house I say you know what this is what I'm gonna want you to do I'm gonna need you to look at your system because I know whenever you call you guys always say um this call is being recorded for uh uh Security reasons or customer service or pre whatever pre-recorded. So I told him I said I'm gonna need you to go back and listen to this goddamn phone call. So he was like, okay, man, give me about 20 minutes and I'm gonna call you back and let you know what we can do about this situation. So he hangs up, calls me back 20 minutes later. He was like, I apologize, ma'am, you're right. She did tell you everything was 100% free and that she was gonna waive the technician fee. So they had to remove all that shit off my bill, which ended up being like $50. That they charge me. I know a lot of people saying, what is $50? But number one, Comcast already charges you an arm and a fucking leg for basically nothing. I pay almost $150, almost $200 for some fucking cable and internet that is it, that ain't all that. Okay? It's, it's really not all that. Number one, they're constantly doing damn maintenance on it. I work from home. Why the hell are you doing maintenance in the middle of the day on the internet and shit? And you always claiming that it's an outage. And then I call back and speak to somebody else. I'll be like, yeah, well, they're doing maintenance on the system. Why are you doing maintenance on the system in the middle of the day? I understand that you have to do maintenance on the system to keep it up and running. But that's some shit you need to schedule in the middle of the night or something when most people are sleeping. Okay. And they do this shit all of the time. All of the time. So, I'm going to flash forward. He did give me my credit for that. After I had to go around and around the world with these people, basically arguing with them, telling them, no, I don't have to sit there and lie to you. All I need you to do is li listen to my pre-recorded phone call from when I called you a couple of, last month or whatever, because I know it's in your damn system. All he asked me was, is this the number that you called me from, called us from last time when uh, you called in about transferring your services? I said yes. 
So I guess that's how he pulled it up and he listened to the phone call. Flash forward to um, the situation that happened yesterday. It's more situations that happened, but I'm not even going to get into the shit. I'm just going to say uh, Comcast customer service is fucking horrible. Let me tell you about yesterday. Okay, let me tell you the situation. I set up auto pay with Comcast because like a, lo a lot of times the shit slips my damn mind. So I said, you know what? I'm going to set up auto pay. Make sure, and, I'm not, I'm, and I don't want anybody to take offense to this or anything, but the young lady that I got when I set up auto pay, she sounded like she was foreign. I'm not really sure where she was from, but she she kept like, like say for instance, I told her exactly. I said, I want to set up my auto pays for August 16th. I want them to come out on the 16th of every month, which is before the bill is even due. I said, I want it to come out of my account on the 16th of every month. She was like, okay, the 16th of every month. I said, the 16th, 1-6. She said, 1-6. I said, yes, but I kept saying, and I, I let her know that I wasn't trying to be disrespectful or anything, but at one point, she said, the 15th. I said, no, the 16th. And I kept asking her this for this particular reason, because I know what damn day that my checks go into my bank account on the 16th, and that's the day I need you to eject your money up out of my damn account. Okay, so flash forward. This was last month when I told her I wanted it to come out on the 16th of every month. So, I just so happen to be, you know, I looked through my bank statements. I don't know about y'all. So, I looked through my bank statements and I see that Comcast haven't taken out the money for my uh, cable bill. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? They supposed to have took the money out. So, I called and the lady was like, yeah, we tried to take it out and it said insufficient funds. Well, no shit. Okay. No shit. I keep my most of my money in my savings account. I don't keep it in my checking account. Only time I transfer money into my checking account is if I know I have a bill to pay. And I make sure, like I said, since I knew that this money was coming out on the 16th, that's when the money was going to be transferred to my checking account. So naturally, it's going to be insufficient funds if you tried it on the 15th when I specifically told you the 16th. So, yesterday when I realized that these people hadn't took the money out of my account because the shit was scheduled to be disconnected on the 18th. And you have to pay that shit at a certain time in order for it to process for it not to be disconnected. Okay. So, I called yesterday. All I needed them to act. L listen, family. This is all I needed them to tell me. They said that they ran the card and it was insufficient funds, which naturally, the money, I hadn't moved the money from my savings to my checking. That was the problem. All I needed them to tell me was, are you going to run my card again? Because I can pay it right now. I just need to know that you're not going to run my card again to double charge me. That is the only thing I need to know. I'm going to say this again. I asked them. All I need to know is, are you going to try to run my card again? If you are, I'll let you run it again. Therefore, I'm not going to pay it right now because you're, that, that'll be two charges that I don't need. So, I just need to know if you're going to try to run my card again or was that the one time you ran it and it said insufficient funds and you just said, okay, we just going to cut the cable off because you thought I didn't have money in my damn bank account, which I did, but you charged my shit on the wrong day. So, again, I told him to look in the thing and I said, you can listen to my phone calls again. I had to deal with this shit back in December. Where the manager had to listen to my damn phone calls and specifically hear that I said the 16th, not 15th of the month. So, family, let me tell you this. First of all, when I called, the wait time was 45 minutes. I held on the line for 45 minutes. When I held on the line for 45 minutes, when a customer service representative did get on the phone, guess what happened? She said, thank you for calling Comcast. Click. Disconnected the fucking call. I thought it was my phone, but it wasn't my phone. Because I got on Twitter, and I realized it was a hundred, hundred, hundreds of people on there saying, Comcast, quit hanging up on me. Calls kept getting disconnected. Now, I'm not going to necessarily blame it on the customer service reps. But sometimes them motherfuckers do be hanging up on you. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Called back. Had to hold on again for another 30 minutes. Finally got a customer service representative. Told her my problem. You guys have not taken your money out of my account yet. My shit is scheduled to be cut off in two days. When you were supposed to take it out on the 16th of the month. 
but you tried on the 15th and it said insufficient funds. All I need to know if, is if you're going to try to run my card again. If you're not, I can go ahead and pay it right now. Um, I think they're going to go ahead and rerun your card, so you might not want to do that. Okay, I need to know when you're going to rerun my card because my shit is scheduled to be cut off in two days. Um, well, it doesn't, we don't have a specific time. Um, all we can say is if it's not out of there by Monday to call us back. Monday, my shit is scheduled to be cut off. Why would I call you back on Monday? I said, ma'am, can you please point me in the direction of someone who can answer my question as to whether or not my car will be ran again? She said, okay, I'm going to transfer you to collections. She said, but I'm going to let you know now it's going to be a long whole time because they're getting a high volume of calls. I said, no problem. Family, I'm not exaggerating. I held on the phone for 53 minutes and 22 seconds. I remember it exactly. 53 minutes and 22 seconds. Guess who fucking picked up the phone? Somebody in billing. This bitch had to transfer me to a completely different department. So I talked to this person and I told them the situation again. They're like, oh yeah, we're going to have to transfer you to collections. The same bullshit. They're having a high volume of calls, so it's going to be a long hold time. I hold on again, family. This lady transfers me again. How about somebody from billing, 30 minutes later, picked up the fucking phone again? All of these people picked up the phone and they telling me the same exact damn thing. They don't know if they're going to run the card again. That's all I needed to know is if you're going to run my damn card again. So again, she tells me, we're going to have to send you to collections. I told her, I said, ma'am, I said, I need you to put me on the phone with somebody. Somebody from collections before uh, you hang up this damn phone. I need you to collect you you to connect to collections before you um try to just put me on hold. She said, "Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hang up on you." This bitch hung up on me, family, completely. Disconnected the whole phone call. I had to call back again. Let me tell you, when I called back, family, this time I went off. I went ballistic because it was damn near three o'clock. Comcast closed at five, the customer service part. Now you can call and get the text and shit on the weekend, but the, the customer service part, from what I understood, them people closed at a certain time and it was it was getting close to that particular time for them to close. And I was already holding on for 30 and 45 minutes every time getting fucking disconnected. This black lady picked up. Look, I'm black, family. You can clearly see that I am African American, okay? This black lady picked up automatic fever. Automatic fever. I was not getting no motherfucking attitude with her yet. Okay. She picked up the phone. I said, all I said, I said, ma'am, I'm all, only thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to talk to someone in collections. Can you please maybe give me a direct number or um uh, uh, uh try to connect with them and then switch me over before you just put me on hold? She was like, ma'am, I'm sorry that you're upset. I'm like, I'm not upset yet. I mean, she just gave me automatic fever. When she answered the phone, she had an attitude. So I'm assuming the motherfucker she had just got off the phone with had an attitude with her. But I wanted to tell her so bad, bitch, I'm paying damn near $200 a month for this shitty ass cable on fucking time. I'm going to need y'all motherfuckers to answer a simple question. I've been having problems with these motherfuckers since I was 17 years old. Okay. Like I said, I'm damn near 30 now. And they still haven't gotten their shit together. So eventually, they transferred me to somebody in collections. Eventually. But not before I got the motherfucking voicemail 14 times. Yes, I got the voicemail 14 times. But I want to fast forward this story. Like I said, family, I was on the phone with these people for over two, three hours. Okay? Trying to get a simple question answered. Are you going to try to recharge my fucking car? If you are not, I need to pay my bill right now. That is the only question that I have. Eventually, I talked to this sweet young lady in collections. I had to apologize to her afterwards. But when I got her on the phone, I did kind of go off because I was so family. I was livid. Okay, because they had transferred me to 10 different people. This one girl, when I when she got on the phone, I told her, I said, yes, um, I have this such and such, such and such question. This bitch automatically transferred me. She didn't even say hold for a second or nothing. She just clicked. 
This young lady's name was Heather. She gave me her employee number. If I'm not mistaken, it was Heather HC4. Comcast, you need to give her a motherfucking raise, okay? And you need to fire everybody else in that motherfucking department. Everybody else and billing and whatever the hell else them motherfuckers kept sending me to. And yes, I'm getting mad and yes, I'm getting angry and yes, I'm cussing. I don't give a damn right now because I'm highly pissed off. I'm high, I'm highly pissed off to the highest level of pissivity. Okay, to the highest level of pissivity. And I promise you, I am two seconds away from canceling this motherfucking shit. Not even giving a damn. I know you don't really give a fuck. I know you don't give a fuck because you got a million and one motherfucking customers. Waiting in the wings, you got a million and one other ones that you finna charge a little bit extra to make up for the ones who are leaving your ass. This lady was on the phone with me for 45 minutes trying to figure out what the hell this person had did. They were trying to figure out who did it and what they did. Because number one, she told me that they weren't supposed to take my credit card. Now, what they were supposed to take, they were supposed to take my routing number and my checking account number. This lady took my credit card number. She said, normally we don't take checking check we don't take credit card numbers um over the phone unless you're paying the bill right then. That's the only time we take a credit card number. She said, if you're setting setting up for a future payments, automatic payments, we take your um routing number and your checking account number, not a credit card number. That is what the lady in collections told me. Now this lady had her supervisor, she said her leaders or whatever they're called, over her shoulders. They was trying to figure out, she said, we're going to push the date back. Hold on, fam, I got to take a sip of my damn drink because I'm, I'm getting flustered, okay? She said they were going to push the date, the, the um disconnect date back two days because they weren't sure if they were going to try to recharge my car because they didn't understand what the hell the person did. She said, we, we trying to figure out exactly who did this. Because they weren't supposed to do it. She said, because we're not understanding. She said, now, if it was us, if it was your checking account number from a check with your routing number and all that, she said, we would try three times to remove the money from your account. She said, but I'm not sure what they do with credit cards, especially since, she said, most times we can only run it one time. So they didn't want to take my money then and they double charge me and it'll be a whole, you know, a big mess or whatever. Because like I told them, I had the money in there, but I didn't have the money in there to be paying them twice, which was some total bullshit. And I didn't have the time to deal with them charging me twice and having to credit my account back and me wait 48, 72. I, I don't have time for all that and submitting a ticket. I don't have time to deal with all that from Comcast when it clearly was not my fault. Okay. Clearly was not my fault. So like I said, I was on the phone with this young lady for about 45 minutes and eventually she told me, she said, well, we're not going to cut it off on the 18th. We're going to push it back a couple of days. And if you don't see it come out within two more days, call us back. Let me tell you how nice this lady was. I said, are you, I kept asking her, are you sure? And I kept telling her that I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to be funny by asking you this a million and one times, but I'm just, you know, I work from home. I cannot have my internet disconnected because I work from home and that's fucking with my coins okay I cannot have my shit cut off for something that was clearly not my fault okay so the lady she sits there and tells me um she said well I promise you it's not gonna cut off she said literally family I have a whole fucking book of notes on my account from these people not understanding what the hell was going on they got so much shit wrote on my damn account about the the from all these hundreds of people that I fucking spoke to that the shit is confusing to them because so many people are putting these fucking notes in my account for a simple question as to whether or not you're going to try to recharge my card again because you simply put it in there for the payment to come out on the 15th when it was supposed to come out on the 16th. Family, it's not rocket science. It's really not rocket science. I just need to know if you're going to try to re-fucking charge the card again. That's all I need to know. So she was like, no, we're not going to recharge the card. We're going to push it back two days. If you don't see it come out within a day or so, call us back and go ahead and pay it because obviously they're not going to try to charge you again this lady was so nice family i was in the bathroom cleaning up i didn't hear my phone ringing my phone rung. this lady called me back four times four times the fifth time i actually caught it she didn't have to keep calling me back like that she called me back to let me know she said well look she said me and my supervisors we went through your notes and stuff and she said we kind of figured out what they did but she said whoever did it messed up your account they weren't supposed to take your credit card number and all this type of shit. And she was like, I see where you asked for the 16th, but they tried to pull it out on the 15th. She said, I see where they did that at. She said, but what I'm going to do, she said, I'm going to, she said, because, you know, in order for, um, 
it to not be disconnected. You're going to have to pay it through us. And I had to pay $5.99 motherfucking cent to pay it through them on the phone. $5.99 cent in order for it to go ahead and go through. Okay. $5.99 cent. She said, because I don't want your cable to get cut off. She said, because I don't think they're, that they're going to rerun it. She said, but if they do rerun it, all you have to do is call us back and we're going to credit it back to your account. So that's another thing I have to deal with. I, I went ahead and paid the, the, the balance to keep them from cutting my fucking cable off. But now I'm still in the back of my mind. I'm worried about are these motherfuckers going to try to double charge me? And then I'm going to have to call them back with a whole bunch of bullshit trying to get them to recredit my damn account. Now, a lot of y'all might be saying, oh, well, it's only 150, 200. That's a lot of fucking money already for some bullshit ass cable. Number one. Okay. Especially when I didn't authorize you to charge my card but once. And I authorized you to charge it on a specific day and your customer service representative who obviously couldn't uh, really comprehend what I was saying, even though I said it a hundred times, still put in the wrong day. Basically, I made this video to say that Comcast, I don't know what the fuck type of training material that you guys have. As a matter of fact, I've watched, I've heard some people on uh, Twitter talking about it. People who work from Comcast that sometimes they be in the motherfucking call center laughing at our motherfucking ass. They be laughing. They be laughing like this shit is a joke. It's really not a motherfucking joke. Okay? It's really not a joke, Comcast. It's really not funny. It's really not funny. I don't know if you guys tell your, your your customer service representatives to really not give a fuck because you already know that most people that got your damn cable really don't have another option, especially now that you motherfuckers that took over Time Warner Cable, okay? You know people ain't really got no other fucking option but to have you guys, so you really don't give a damn about your customer service. Because everybody that got on that damn phone line, even though I was trying to talk nice as ever until I got so frustrated after I was on hold for two hours for a simple question. All I was trying to do was pay my bill. That's all I was trying to do because of a mistake of yours. That's all that I was trying to do. But what I'm going to need y'all to do, I'm going to need y'all to put them damn customer service representatives back in fucking training. That's what I'm going to need you to do because that was some total and utter bullshit. Okay. Like I said, Comcast needs to get some goddamn um, competition besides the dish because a lot of people don't really want to go to dish because there are a lot of problems with dish when it is uh, storming and raining and that type of shit. But that was the worst night yesterday, family. I literally wanted, I don't even drink, but I wanted something to drink yesterday. I wanted some alcohol yesterday because my head was hurting so bad dealing with those people. It was hurting so bad. But what I want to say is Comcast. I want to. I want you guys to praise Heather HC4 like you ain't never praised her before because she is one of the best customer service representatives that you have. When I expressed to her how frustrated I was, she said, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm going to help you. She said she's going to help me. She didn't transfer me or anything, and no matter how frustrated I got with her. And at the end of that phone call, I did apologize to her because I was frustrated because I had talked to 10, 15 people previous to her who kept just transferring me because they can understand a simple question. I am so fucking fed up with Comcast and their customer service representatives and their high-ass fucking prices. 